Hello there, I go by the name of David Diamond and I'm live again on today's episode in Diamond Search. Today speaking about the e-commerce business. Do you know what's happening right now? Wow, you need to latch on to this moving stream. Think about Amazon, think about eBay, think about Alibaba, think about Jumia, think about lots of e-commerce sites that you shop daily. You think think about how long they have existed. It's a short time. That means there's something they need to latch onto. E-commerce. Now, you could be online. That's good. And maybe you think about how to come online. That's also good. So e-commerce, electronic commerce, transacting online. Decide that you need to make a better living for yourself. Decide that you need to start up something that will take you from here to here. E-commerce is an option. Yes, so you decide. Make that move. Then you think about what to sell. What you want to sell. Yeah, there are a lot of products you need to sell. Lots of ideas. A lot of things that are out there. So you think about and figure out what are the problems and challenges that people face. Sometimes people look at yourself and say, okay, man, for example, my phone, I, I, every time I have to take my, lift my phone over and make calls, man, it's kind of stressful these days. So I could decide to go for something like this. This is um, the Bluetooth T8 Bluetooth headset. Yes, we sell this on a platform www.deal7solutions.com. Okay, now I need to have my phone on the table and then do something freely so I could not have this fixed on my ear. And then if a call comes, I pick it up so it's routed from my phone to the headset, to the earpiece, and then I talk. I pick the calls, I cut the calls so it solves that problem for me. So that is a problem identified and this is a problem solved. Now how do I sell this product or how does somebody sell this product to me? That is how I start figuring out how to get started in the e-commerce business. Now you think about what products you have to sell or you want to sell. For me, I'm a technology geek and I love music. So I actually invested in these industries, the music industry or the entertainment industry, which is the media business and also the ICT sector, which is, these are my passion. So you think about your own passion. Now, you could be in the, in the your field could be agriculture and maybe you don't have, let's say, land or you're not disposed to farm and then Manf uh, produce um, crops. Now you could say, okay, I want you want to be, you want to be um, in the agri agro based business. So you now think about make out the products from agriculture and then sell. A lot of guys who go and I know I know of somebody I know of somebody who actually smokes fish. She dries fish. She goes to the to the women, to the people who, who yeah dries fish and then exports it. He goes to the people who farm the fish. Yeah, he cultivates and then after, when they harvest, yeah, he now takes, buys off them, has he has his own setup to smoke this fish, make it dry and, you know, have um, preserved. And then he has a market internationally that he now exports his products to, just like that. So he is in the agric, his field is agriculture and he now, he's now thinking about, he's now taking just one product from agriculture to sell. Now you could also be in the fashion industry, you know, if you go to Abba, you go to India, you go to China, there are lots of products. Now you think about how, what actually do you want to do in the fashion industry, yeah? Which problem do you want to solve? Do you want to solve or which niche, um, do you, which problem do you need to solve? So it could be it could products, it could be agro-based products, agro-based products could be digital products like e-books could be add physical products like um, like what you have here it could be what you have here is a bluetooth this is actually this speaker this is this is a bluetooth speaker yeah this is the wireless speaker it's bluetooth enabled so you pair this speaker with your phone yeah and then route your your songs from your phone right here that's what you have playing right now okay now this is awesome you don't need to now you need, now you can now listen to music very well listen to music and enjoy you can now listen to your songs and enjoy your songs with this product 
So this product, I think people will like this product, and it's it's, it's the price is fair compared to say products like Beats. Yeah, this price is fair for for you know this price is fair, and so you have somebody who can actually afford this product. So now this is a product I decided to sell, and then, and, then, and then I start. Now think about your own product, e-books. Um, who have um, clothes, shoes, like you have our brothers over there in a bar. Yeah, they already have products already. You get, you get me. So, source think about the product you want to sell, and then when you figure out that product, then you need to do some market research on that product. You need to market. You need to find out how viable that product is. You need to know if you're going to make something out of that product. You're going to know if it's going to be worth it to embark on the journey of selling that product to whoever wants to buy it. To whoever wants to buy it. Whoever, whoever needs it. You need to, you know, to, you need to be sure if this product is viable, if this product is viable, you know, and worth the, the journey on taking it from the from the supplier to the to the customer. Anyways, so you do some market research, there are a lot of tools to help on market research these days. Market research is important. Sometimes you ask physically, you ask somebody, you meet somebody and ask, would you buy this product? And how much would you buy this product? You ask randomly and then you collect the data and then you see what to make out of it. But these days a lot of tools for you to do your product research. You go online. Right now you have Google AdWords that you can search for words that people in a particular region or environment are searching for. So you say, okay, now within this environment that I find myself in, what are the demands that people have? What are the things that they like, that they need? So you search online, there are a lot of tools. So you get those tools, search, and then you can you kind of see how all people are, are looking for. Also look at trending topics, think about think about things, take a look at things that are trending. Like currently we have like um, BBN, Big Brother Niger, we have um, we have programs like um, The Voice, etc and you see what demands is listen to what people are actually saying see what people are wanting see what people are asking for go online go to facebook go to instagram just look around think about see things see what people are are, are, are talking about and then colleagues you know they then try to analyze that data and then see you know come up with ideas on ideas of product or service that you like to to sell so that is your marketing research so now, when you have now decided what you want to sell, now search for suppliers. It's usually tricky searching for suppliers. It's usually very, you know, it sometimes it looks, it, it seems difficult searching for suppliers. But you have to be patient, take your time. Actually, these are these things that these steps I have, all the steps I've mentioned are free. You don't need to pay money. Maybe you you subscribe on the internet and then do your research. Asking people questions on product research doesn't cost you money anyways. So you're trying to, to bootstrap, you know, spend as little as possible so you can maximize profit anyways. So you now source suppliers. Look for suppliers. Check the suppliers. Suppliers. Whoever has what you want to sell. If it's what you can make for yourself, fine. I have a friend who makes nice suits. Yes. Anyway, he still has to buy materials anyway. But he sews. I also have some friends who, who you know, make stuff like coconut oil right from their home. I also have a friend who bakes you know, into, into catering, so they make their own products. All the same, they still have to buy a few things outside them. But for for you who needs to sell, let's say, physical products or um, let's say a tangible product, a physical product, you now have to source for the suppliers. You need to go look for somebody to supply what you need to sell. Okay? And there are ways to get suppliers. You Sometimes you can walk up to suppliers or you go online and search for suppliers. You need people that will always be there for you. That 
if an order is placed and somebody says I need this product, that product is available. So you need to patience to source product suppliers. Sometimes the major suppliers you have are not the ones that are so are looking are even so loud. You hear about them everywhere. You go, go down, deep down, do your research and look for people. There are people who just they they, they, they don't they don't want to go through the hassle of um, trying to market the product and do so many stuff. So you just look for them and say, okay, these are the things I would like to get these products from here to here. There are a lot of I have a lot of customers right now. He will be so happy. This is taking liability or responsibility off his hands and then he's making a profit for himself. Man, that's awesome. So, so look for suppliers for what you want to sell. Let's assume you want to sell fashion accessories. Let's say fashion accessories. Now you look, you source for local, local suppliers. Some people make beads, yes? Some people do handcrafted um, um, products. You get me? So look for them. Sometimes if you go to states like uh, Aquaibon, you see them. They, 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 you see, you see the the craft, the craft, um, the craft. You see, you see, yeah, you see they, they, have, they have they have they have skills in craft. So they can they make art. They are, they are artistic. Or you go to Edo, you go to you go to some places that you see they craft and um, they handcraft all these things. Yeah. Fashion accessories. They craft hand, fashion accessories. They make them beads, caps etc and these things are very 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 attractive and people you know they make you look good right you know adds color to people anyways because everybody they say looking good is good business so now you say okay fashion accessories and then you start sourcing you ask people you go online some do not go online actually so you need to go and start searching ask people ask questions do your market do your uh, supplier research do your do your do your do your homework so you check and then you make sure you get a very reliable supplier. Talk to them. Make be sound professional. Sound professional. Don't go on. You, you don't need to act like a newbie. Just go straight to the point. Let them understand what they're going to benefit. How you're also going. Uh, you know how they're going to benefit. And then make them give them a picture of what you're trying to do. Okay. And how you tend to to be getting orders from them. So. I believe you're going to you try a lot of them, not just one, try a lot of them, try a lot of suppliers and then you're going to get land on somebody or a supplier that's actually fine that you can work with, you know. Now you've decided what you want to sell, now you you have identified the problem and then now you've sourced for your supplier. Right? Okay. Also, don't forget product competition. Know what what the competition is product also. Now you have to get structured. Getting your business structured. Yes, it has to be structured. Especially if you want to go on the internet. You want to go online. You have to have some form of structure. So businesses are not sustainable, especially for small businesses. A lot of reasons being that they don't understand the business concepts and principles. Like being structured, having the prop, having proper accounting, etc., etc. You don't know your tax laws. You don't know the policies that actually affect you as a business person. These things are not far from, are not far from you. You have the internet. Just go online, search, ask. Yeah, know the regulations that apply to your environment. Know those, know those laws. You get me? So look for structure. Yeah, these days it depends on your country. If you're in Nigeria, you go to CAC Corporate Affairs Commission, and then you file for a business name, and then if it is approved, yes, you know, you could now say okay, you want to leave it at a sole proprietorship, or you want to go as an LLC, limited liability company, or you want to go above that. Depends on how your operations want to be. But for the most part, I see a lot of. Um, for starters, especially for very young guys, young minds, you have it that sole proprietorship, sole proprietorship which is um, a sole entrepreneur, sole entrepreneur, you could, you know, you on your own, you start like that, you start there, taxing is very minimal, you know, so you have leverage to do a lot of things, you know, too much responsibility is not come. But you still have limitations, I mean, talking about um, benefits that that bigger 
like uh, like LLCs get, you don't get. But for your own business model, which is selling products, you know, I take this product, somebody order this product on my site or on whatever platform I have, and then I receive the order, I receive payment, and then I supply. I don't think that that model. I think sole proprietorship works for that model. But if you say you need to go bigger. Let's say you don't want to sell physical product, maybe you want to develop, um, let's say you want to start a company that works, that renders services for other companies. Yes, now you want to render services for other companies. Now you now know that there has to be integrity, there has to be trust, and also you have to have a team of people to work with because the size and magnitude of the kind of tasks you'll be carrying out will be immense or big. So you need an umbrella or a structure that captures all your operations and makes you work within the legal confines so everything is perfect and fine so when you go to CAC if you're in the, if you're in the United States of America you get me it's a different ball game think about your look for a lawyer sometimes you also consult a lawyer and then find out the things and requirements that you need you know to meet this is easier anyways you budget about let's see between 30, 20, 30 to 50,000 naira, you can have your business registered as LLC. But for um, sole proprietorship, I think maximum 20,000 naira, I think you have your business name. So you now have to think about structure. So think about the, how the kind of business you want to run and see the responsibilities you're going, you're going to impose on you and then decide the structure that you want to have you know, for this business. So lawyers are very are close by everywhere. These days, everything is easy. So think about ask your consultants, ask your task um, consult, tax consultant, ask your lawyer, ask your lawyer around there. Have lawyer friends, ask them. So they give you solutions. They give you ideas and solutions and tell you your requirements. So that is one. That is um, getting structure. So. When you decide which structure you want to operate you run your business on, yes, and then you decide your business name. Think about the name. Think about a name that actually reflects what you do or projects what you do or you know you know has something to do with what you are doing already. You get me? Think about a good name, a nice name. I see a lot of names that are nice, right? But I'm thinking of, I'm like, what, coming, what relationship does this name have to do with this business? I find myself in a country like Nigeria, a lot of businesses are not sustainable for, the, for a lot of reasons. I also want to say, this is also an important thing you have to think about, think about a good name. You hear names like, um, Molanto and Son of God. <laughs> integrated resources into general contracts and at the end of the day nobody knows what you do so get a very good name get something that is catchy it reflects your brand your brand meaning your personality you know like um, an embodiment of who you are your values you know your ways your color your personality your swag you know your brand you the way you are you get me now when they see this name they know it's you so get a name that is catchy that reflects your brand your brand their values you get me and then also you know projects what you do so example let's say Jumia used to be Kaswa, right? Kaswa. Kaswa in Kaswa means market in Hausa language. In Nigeria, yeah? Kaswa means market. So when you hear Kaswa, it means you have to buy things. And it's short. Jumia, Kaswa. Alibaba. Alibaba. You know what Alibaba means, right? You remember the story of Alibaba? Yeah? Market, commerce. You know, so you see, it's the name is catchy, it's attractive, and reflects the brand, 
and it's just if you listen to that name it just tells you that these people are probably into this right a lot of companies have spent a lot of money to build a brand for themselves so don't make it difficult for you okay just look for something nice sometimes you could use your name but a lot of guys who use their names are guys who probably need to set up a company and then this company doesn't really their model doesn't really require for them to start sourcing for lots of customers and stuff but for your model you need to you want to reach a wider audience so you need a very nice and catchy name and outside that when you now think about your name example okay take a look at this product this is called the wi-fi dongle miracles it mirrors what you have on your phone and projects it on your tv screen so you don't have to stress sometimes a friend of mine watches football on his phone so he, he finds it stressful so he looks for a way to project it and for the most part tvs that come with that feature where you can project uh, actually mirror your phone on your screen are more expensive so for guys who go for the lower end tvs can also buy this product install it in their tv you know install it yeah fix it in their tv their hdmi port and then pair their piece their, their phone and the tv and then watch what you have so this solves the problems people would like to get it and the price is actually fair and now i need to start and we have a business name that's sell, that that i need to start selling this product and i need a business name now this thing is into displays yeah display you can now say eye display tech display mm? you know projectors take this out now think about you want to go into the fashion and think about a name and let's say your name is gladys your name is gladys and you like your name and you like your color you like the blue you like blue as your color or you like pink as your color your name is gladys you like pink as your color and you want to go into the fashion industry you need to go and you sell fashion accessories and think about a name you could say gladys apparel you know you could say made by gladys you could say g letters g, g tailors say g tailors you could say g tailoring g tailoring g tailoring g tailors yeah or g shirts t-shirts think about something that is catchy anyways let's not overflow this right? okay so think about your own brand name and then when you decide on the name and then that's fine be happy clap for yourself we have to come. step get your name this is another step get your name so now you now have a wonderful name now you now have decided what to sell You've now seen a supplier and then you have a name and then you have a structure now bear in mind that you could it but you mustn't follow these are actually these are steps that just laid down but you want these are you know, it's not it's not fixed that you follow this this template okay these are just bullet points sometimes when before your domain your business thing is approved and then you get to start uh, going in, you, then you, you're now licensed to, to start business. Yeah, it takes, let's say, a few weeks. So within, that, within those few weeks, would you not do something? You need to you need to continue planning. You could use that time to meet suppliers, source product, do mass market research, do a lot of things, you know, start making moves, and they don't actually cost you money. Okay? Now you have to have what we call a domain name. A domain name is your online address. Your online address. Example where you live could be number three Confonion Street. Wherever this whatever country you are, that is your address physically. Same thing applies when you go online. You need you also need an address, right? So peculiar address that when we log that detail on our search on our browsers it takes us straight to you the same thing happens when you go on your offline if you give me your address or your phone number right i can use that to locate you it's dedicated to you so that is what you need a domain name a domain name and there are ways to get domain names you go on the internet you have platforms like godaddy www.godaddy.com so 
they are they, they, they are a body that are authorized to issue domain names. If everybody gave domain names, then there will be no regulation and then there will be no consistency, there will be no organization. So we have a few people that are that are authorized to give domain names. GoDaddy is one. So when you get your domain name, you register domain names are, are, are not expensive, so you could pay for a year. I think um, I don't think it's more than twenty twenty dollars, which is more than about seven thousand five hundred naira. You know, converted to your own local currency, you get you, you have you have something fair for one year. So the same that's how it goes. So when it's now uh, you now have your domain name. Next thing you have to think about is hosting. It's ju just like you have a business name, and then you now want to launch. Now you have to host. Now you go offline. You want to host. You need to host your your site. You now need to have a space, a place where uh, you now to set up shop online. So that's where you host. GoDaddy also hosts. There are a lot of other platforms that host. So they have you have Shopify. Lots of them, like here in Nigeria right now. You think you hear of you hear about Google Host, right? You hear there are lots of them. So think about a reliable one. You can decide to do it privately. You know, you get your own server spot. You'll be it will be um, it will be. Sometimes it's more stressful, yeah. So you can outsource for a small startup. You don't need to have to carry out carry all these hassles and stress on your head. So you outsource your hosting to people who are reliable. That you don't experience downtime. By downtimes, I mean sometimes you could have your site. So you could now log your dip your address in, and it's not available online. Now your hosts, if they are not reliable, you find out that they. Yeah, they will all they won't always have your site up and running all the time. So, so, that, so these are disadvantages of having your own personal servers. Anything can happen. So you know now if you go to if say you want to have an e-commerce store now e-commerce store mark the word e-commerce store there are a lot of options but it's what we call WooCommerce. It's like a, a design, a template, the web templates or a, a, a website template right that's that is built on wordpress wordpress is an open source web um, design platform where you can literally without too much a lot of knowledge about coding and all these technical things that you they will say they want to, you say you want how to divide design your site and it's so much stress so you don't when you don't have those ideas to start coding you go to a platform like wordpress Right now, remember you have your domain name, right? Already, okay. So you go to a platform like WordPress, right? Okay, and then you've hosted. Remember you've hosted. Let's say you've hosted on GoDaddy. Okay, so you it's now ready for you to start designing. You can now start like you now have your sh your shop ready, it's hosted, and you now start arranging things in the shop if it's brick and mortar like my my kids brick and mortar will have to you know get a show glass i will get um, a computer i will look for brand designs i'll look for designs that integrate my brand and i'll get a lot of things making sure that it is aesthetically um okay and also they attract customers and also it works according to my business model i've thought about a lot of things that i've now known how my design will be the same thing applies to your shop so whatever you're selling think about the kind of design that best suits your your brand and the kind of product if it's a digital product you remember now you think of you know your 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 feel will be different if it's if it's let's say music you want to sell your out your outlay your your user interface will be different your graphics design will be different as well so you have to put that into consideration so these factors now decide this determines the best um, kind of designs you need to have so since if you were talking about e-commerce that means there has to be a store an e-commerce store meaning there has to be transaction online so whatever forms of design you're having has to be that there has to be that interactivity where the customer can place order and then you receive your money and then you send deliver the product and then you get your balance and everything you we'll see that that um, interactivity so that's that how it looks that means it has to be like a store a shop but say you are having a service based business and you actually don't want to sell things online but you need people to know that you are online, you have an online presence and that's a different model entirely so you have different templates that suits that so 
But for us now, we're talking about selling, so we think about platforms like WordPress. So on GoDaddy, if you go to GoDaddy, right, after hosting, let's break it down. You have options right there as to the how you want to design your site. Now you have, if you scroll, you look around, you will see WooCommerce, you will see Shopify, no, 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 Shopify. You will see WooCommerce, you see my um, 3D cards, a lot of a, lo a lot of them. Then you choose whichever it will get in to be installed for you. It's like these days, software installations are different. So if actually you can install an app on your phone. The same process see these things are not complicated just read the instructions understand it if you find it difficult maybe send me a mail or you know look for look for a computer consultant an ICT consultant around somebody who you feel has understanding about navigation yeah get these things done you can actually do it for yourself and I know you can that is one option you can also go through Shopify Shopify, you pay the host for you. You pay it about the minimum should be about twenty dollars, which is about seven to eight thousand naira, which is affordable for a year. Yeah, if you say you have to go rent a shop, you'll be paying say, let's say a retail outlet, you're paying say five hundred um, thousand naira. That's so much money to a million. That's so much money. And then you think you've not even thought, thought about marketing and many other things. So that's that's too big business. That's too much risk. So you see this kind of e-commerce model gives you leverage to even test, start something out without so much stress, you get to understand how, how things are going. So on, on WordPress, remember I said you go to first, you get your domain name, you go to GoDaddy search and say the availability of that domain name. If it's okay, you now host. Hosting doesn't cost much as well. It's cheap, see the fare is fair, the price is fair, and then you pay. Pain. If you're having challenges, if you, if you are still maybe a, a, a newbie and you don't know how to pay, you have credit card, you pay for things, you go to the supermarket, you pay with your card, right? The same thing applies here. Now, you know how far you've gone. You have a site up and running, and now you have now integrated a means of collecting money, right? Now, your site up and running, remember I said I was going to talk about product listing now. On that site, let's say WordPress your pictures your products should have good um, image representations videos if 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 possible your videos your your products should have good PM image representation videos if possible as well so what you need to do is have a good um, snapshot of these pictures there are a lot of ways to do that like do seven solutions or come I have uh, uh, ways we have our product um, snapped photographed edited and then uploaded sometimes these suppliers already have the the product already so it's still disastrous all you need to do is just get the picture from the supplier get the description make sure your description is explicit it is on point to explain exactly what it solves you get me make sure exact explains exactly what it solves and then you now have a way to upload this information it's just like now you want to maybe you have inventory in your office your shop your offline shop and you need to stock them you need to arrange them now you now have a good way to present it and then stock it same way applies here same thing applies here so you now have your pictures maybe two or three so you can now be seeing them on a slide or the customer will be seeing them on a slide and then a good description let's see the key features and then what it does the cost Man, if you have discounts on your platform, let's say WordPress app platform, they have options where you can actually give discounts for prices. You know, for maybe let's say if they say a customer buys a certain number of products, they are discount. Maybe you want to give them five percent discount, or you have a coupon. Now you want to increase the coupon and then give them, um, you know get benefits from that coupon so it's actually flexible there are a lot of programs that are written to help you do these things which if you probably want to go uh, with uh, let's say look for you let's say web designer to do this all these things for you well it's, it should be feasible but I mean this is it's a lot cheaper here and there are a lot of options it's flexible so that's that's uh, old and uh, those days where you will see we can't have a website because of the cost of designing and then of hosting and, yeah, uh, 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 high. So these days you can now you can actually 
just get your products through the play. you just navigate you you know how to use Facebook right you know how to use Instagram the same thing applies here you also learn the, the, the environment the interface of so let's see WordPress or Shopify whichever Google host whichever platform you're doing some of you are uh, going Gigi go on um, Jumia yes these are other options as well they just you know you, you register with them and then you have your product uploaded the same way you upload your product on Facebook your sorry your pictures on Facebook and then write a lot of nice things for the girls and guys to see you and like you same thing applies here so you now go through that means yeah get your product uploaded get your pictures uploaded get the description uploaded put in the price now think about products that like I said are viable and don't try to sell everything it's nice when you want to sell everything but for the skill you are operating now think about what actual products actually solve certain problems and then you can market well yeah think about the, 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 those kind of products then upload think about business ideas and um, let's say if you say you are you're going to agro based business I know somebody that sells um, herbal products I see like um, natural products that help this helps the skin so she has an online presence and then she has a platform that when you come to the site the pictures are so nice on the slides right the home page you see the slides of the pictures just going you see explanations based on the pictures let's say um, beauty cosmetics natural beauty cos beautiful co um, let's say natural natural skincare products natural skincare products be real be healthy stay real stay healthy stay fresh that one swipes another one comes make sure you don't have you know something something that's interactive you know I like ads maybe you come to your shop your office and then you put a particular product and description and you try to bring in you know impart a new ideology or a, a process something to the customer the same thing applies here think about ways of how to catch their mind psychologically pass your information so they come through pictures through text text descriptions and you also integrate your brand while you do all these things so the brand templates will also if you go to wordpress a lot of templates you look at a template they are templates for tailors they are templates for um, music musicians they are templates for service based businesses etc so you look for templates that best suit you just using wordpress as an example there are a lot of platforms there so you you look for them yeah and then you get them installed have your products um, uploaded if, if you go to fiverr a lot of guys who render services so they they, they they say okay i upload 10 products for you at certain amount and then good description and send at the end of the day so when you now do that you now have your products and then um, your your products uploaded and the next thing your product your market your business is set everything is ready it's time to start selling before you sell you need to market you need to market you need to advertise you need to promote you get me you need people to see you now if you're running an offline store what we do from a brick and mother store i see somebody hi excuse me sir i realized that your phone is underutilized. There are a lot of things people don't really have phone. You can realize that your phone can actually be a means of securing yourself. You can actually secure yourself with your phone. With this resurgency around in the country with a lot of um, uncertainty, people have to be safe. Imagine you have uh, your, your phone and you can through your phone have um, certain things or certain devices installed in the house and you can see what's happening with your kids. You have rest of mind or your your kids are in school you can track them you know in and now they are attracted and they say okay i like that kind of product and then you sell so that's word of mouth now you need to reach more people with this same model right now you have the same description you have of how this product benefits you and then you have to look for ways to have this message conveyed conveyed videos articles music audio if possible now different formats be creative you could also hire a marketing expert but remember you are the one running this company at this point 
it's not advisable to do everything, but for the skill you are you are running, you need to have certain knowledge and you need to have certain experience. Now, while you grow, you outsource, but like when I started, I had to do a lot of things. I did graphic design, I did content creation, I did the marketing, I did matter of fact, you can hear me freestyling right now, let me freestyle to you. Can of name my face, sound going bass, me I'm going, <sighs> James Harley Chase, like that. You see me freestyling, right? I did a lot of things, made a lot of, I sharpened a lot of my skills just to get these things going. So you need to also think about your strengths and think about things that, you know, you can actually do, you know, to get your product or your brand seen to get your product out there a lot of things now when you now have this format these things done there are a lot of ways to now other ways to get them out you have social media you have radio you have tv the way the internet has gone the way technology has gone that's made these things so easy for us now before now you go to advertisement agencies and you pay so much money before you have quality promotion so these days through social media you can actually launch your own campaigns create your facebook page create your instagram page right have a um, twitter account and twitter handle go to youtube have um, a youtube page now it, you are, it do, it's not necessary that you go on all these platforms but think about a few of them that you know your target market or your target audience are always um, on these days uh, let's say you're in fashion you have a lot of guys um, fashion it mean, means fashion has to do with display and then Instagram has to do with display pictures vi short videos for video clips so easily and you have millions of people on, on, on Instagram so you could think about Instagram Facebook as well a lot of people are on Facebook almost a matter of fact everybody who is who is knowledgeable is on Facebook or has a Facebook um, profile so you can if you can reach them through Facebook so all you need to do is get your message in a way that you can now post on Facebook or Instagram snapchat you know you can video whatever and then upload then when you do that you can actually market that they have promotions where you can promote this this products right there on let's say Facebook on Instagram and the rest of them do your research like I say a lot of guys know this but also if you don't know do your research now go to facebook go to instagram you can promote your your products right there launch campaigns link your campaigns to your website now these are platforms now you link your business your promotion campaigns to your website you say okay i have a product i take a picture of this product nice good pictures you know different views so people can see it have a little bit of video description of a product and what it does and then i go online and then i upload that information with good explanations and then putting the link of my site let's say on from my web, web facebook page and then from that if it's a business page you will see the option of promote beneath it so you cannot click promote and then you pay as little as one dollar, two dollars, three dollars. These are little, these are not plenty of money. Now think about how your target audience thinks. This is when psychology comes into play. Think about how they think, right? How do you think people got um, you to to buy a lot of their products? They know that you are their ideal customer, and then you like entertainment, so. They have to come through what you like, through Big Brother, and then you like Big Brother, and then you like papers, and then you start ordering their own products. Same thing applies here. Think about your target audience, and then think about a way of marketing. There are no formulas. Just be creative. Think about what you can do actually that will make them like what you're doing. Sometimes you could go to events. You could go and do public speaking. It will help you know to create value you know do something maybe like I'm doing currently now I'm creating value for you and then you're liking it and then you see that I'm for real and I see this product actually helps you and then you place an order because you trust me right and I trust you <laughs> so the same thing happens here now think about your own marketing strategy 
Also, another, another way of marketing is um, SEO optimization, search engine optimization, search engine optimization, where you try to work your ranking, your 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 your, your website to rank on um, searches when or when it's searched for. Like Google, if you say, okay, I want to buy best, I want to buy good gadgets in Nigeria, and you said you have millions of people who are actually selling, but who comes first is where people go. Who is the person who gets the, the most customers so if you can optimize your site to to rank you know there are a lot of guys who do, who do that even on wordpress they are, they have they have a plugin called Yoast, and Yoast helps you when you're listing your product helps you through keywords tags and the rest of them you know manipulate and you know help you know make you look in, in a way whereby your your product actually comes up um, tops in the ranking because they have professionals who also do that even when you go on Fiverr there are guys who do that so outsource to them they will um, help you optimize your, your site so many ways to market radio jingle create videos create balls create content around your your your, your product and then send them out there then get feedback analyze think about what works for you and then hit it up again double the hopefully again now you have market you've done your marketing and then a customer is now liking you he's following you on your facebook page he's liking your instagram and then he's now in tune with you and he trusts you and he says okay i want to buy i want to buy your products and then he places an order and then one day all of a sudden now it's not as easy as i'm speaking though sometimes you, it takes time but you know it's psychology Every day you see Coca Cola on your TV screen, right? Then one day, when you want, anytime you want, you're thirsty and you want to drink, you just know water, or you want to drink something nice, the first thing that comes to your mind is Coca Cola. The same thing happens with psychology, you know? They now are yeah, in your mind. Now, you, now for over some time, you've been giving value, and then you say, okay, I'm good at this, I'm good at this, I'm a mechanic, I'm a tailor, this is what I do. So when that need comes, arises, they call you. And then maybe through your sites, sometimes in some customers would not be comfortable paying online. Yeah, sales is sale is a sale. So if he doesn't want to pay online and feels that you okay, I want to through because of by seeing you online, I need to physically send the money to you, or you know I'm not comfortable using my card. A lot of guys who actually want to send directly to your bank. You get me, but you built that trust already. So however. You've gotten that you made that sale, so you get your alerts. One day, open, you just see your mail, pam pam, and then you get your first sale. You're like, God, this is real. This is real. Yeah, and now it's time to deliver. Now, did you think about delivery? Do you think about shipping? You have to think about it. That is the next topic we're talking about. Now, this is now time to manage your business, manage your operations. Think about logistics, think about security, think about HR, human resources. You have to think about all the things that put all these models in place so that if the order is placed, it goes straight to the customer and the customer is happy. Now, if you have to deliver, it depends on the kind of product. If you are doing digital e-products, digital products that soft copies, they are downloads, so you don't have issues. Let's say you want to sell a book, yeah, and then you put a link to on your site so that book. So when the customer pays, a link is sent maybe via email to the customer, and then on the email he opens and then he downloads that that file. It could be some you could. You could you could sell books, you could sell videos, video content depends on what you want to do. If you're if you're a teacher and you're thinking about training people, you could create content like this, create a lot of content. You know, maybe say mathematics, mathematics integration. You know, um, if it's your field, you want to teach people how to do, um, make cake, outline something structured. It could be a book, it could be audio content, it could be video content, and then package it. Now. Remember, you had already through your site template. You now have your way to list that product. So when that big payment is made, you now have the money. Now it's time to ship. So for digital products, downloaded. For physical products, you have to look for 
who will do the delivery for you. If you have the capacity, you have your own delivery guys, fine. But that is so much um, cost incurred, you know. Besides, that's not your area of strength. So that's why you have to outsource. You have of um, uh, companies like DHL, UPS, etc. You have um, local content like Ace Logistics, etc. The 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 actually are in that business, the business of the logistics, right? If you're if you're importing international, if you're importing products from um, um, foreign countries, let's say your 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 model, your business model is drop shipping, where it, uh, you actually do not have the, the, the product, right? Let's say you do not have the product, but you and you don't have money to buy the product, so but you can uh, make arrangements with the supplier that when you get an order and use evidence for that order. The, the supplier sends the product to the buyer and there's no link between the supplier and the buyer just you although there are a lot of risks and in the, um, associated with this business but there may be like return um, risks risk of return maybe you have problems that's why if you have that kind of business model think about products that will not be easily returned so when you now have this product right or this supplier send it you get me you must have had you must have had a means of shipping of shipping that product so if you say okay example site like aliexpress right in china you now go to look for products and you need to bring those products down to nigeria okay or you want to take it to india now they have shipping options so you can choose those shipping options and they will send it but say you have your products here in Nigeria or in South Africa or Ghana or UK or the United Kingdom and you need to have that product to a particular location, you could look for local logistics companies that are reliable and that have fair prices and then you partner with them. So if you just have any order, remember you partner with the payment um, uh, service provider, payment gateway, now you also have to partner with somebody who do your logistics. Same thing happens. So, um, outsource. You are seeing. You, are, that is, you see the leverage. All you need to do is get your order, promote, and then everybody works for you. See the model. That's not your dream. That's your dream. So keep moving. Keep, keep making this moves. So the logistic company comes, picks it up from where the product is, and then delivers it to the to the to the customer. But before then, you must have had arrangements with the logistics company like registration. Remember, a lot of registrations here, yeah? they have to know if you're for real. Some you pay a little money upfront, a lot of them are for are free. So they only charge you um, after the sale or after the delivery. They, some of them offer pay, pay on delivery services. I mean, where they go and then they receive the, the funds, the, the cash from the the customer that if you have pay on delivery options on your site right now you don't need to maybe the customer needs to see the product before he pays and then the logistic company company has to go there pick up the funds for you no stress and then they send it to your account same thing so you partner with a shipping agency or a logistic company so that's fine you also have to think about accounting think about how to manage your books the reason why the reason why a lot of companies are not sustainable is because we don't know our financial, we don't know our numbers. You see a lot of guys mixing their personal, um, um, personal and business um, ideals, um, you know, all together, and then it's a lot of confusion. Sometimes you don't know where the funds are going. It helps you make. It doesn't help you make good decisions. Your decisions are always not um, not accurate. You're just, you know, when you're run, when you're just, you're running a business like you're struggling or you're surviving, then it's not a different entity on its own. It has to be a different entity. So remember, when you were registering your business name, if you're going through the LLC uh, pattern, LLC limited liability company structure, you may, you have to have a business account and a business account, a business account number that actually carries the name of your company. So the same thing applies here. So I believe before you you have, must have come to this level, you must. Be, I think you've met all these requirements. 
and think about growth also think about corporate social responsibility giving back to the society like i think this is what i'm doing i have to give give this back this is i think it's this knowledge and these things are relevant to um, economic growth especially for a country or a nation that you have people thinking about quick or fast ways of making money without actually wanting to bring or uh, grow you know following the major the good principles so you find out that the the uh, the society is filled up with info so a lot of misinformation and then it's a problem like we're complaining right now so thank you for this time if you like this content make sure you like make sure you subscribe i mean i have to freestyle for you before i go okay Yeah, a little freestyle for a little scene. Make sure say no be theme. Make sure say say thing but be real. Freestyling man. You need to market promotion. Make sure you promote. Make sure you promote. Make sure you promote. Listen to the sound. I did this song actually for the freestyle. Mm -hmm. Major products right there. Yeah. I love Deal 7 Solutions that come. Mm. Deal 7 Solutions. Yes. Major product right there. Major product right here. Major solutions here. Major solutions there. Where the system at the where it the where it the where it the don't see what freestyle is freestyle. Anyway, the essence is to promote the brand. When the virus day, we concrete. When the virus day, we complete. When the virus day, we know we no competition. Competition, cause we stand for attention. Don't mention.